The University of Evansville is a small, private, liberal arts and science school located in Evansville, Indiana. The university was founded in 1854 as Moores Hill College. In 1919, the college was moved to Evansville and it was renamed Evansville College. In 1957, Evansville College was renamed the University of Evansville. Today, the university currently enrolls about 2,500 students per year and it contains four colleges. The Dunnigan Family Department of Nursing and Health Sciences is one of the colleges at the university and it has been around for over half a century. I talked to Joan Fedor Bassmeyer, the Simulation Coordinator Assistant, to find out more information about the nursing program itself. I'm Joan Fedor Bassmeyer, Assistant Professor of Nursing and the Simulation Coordinator here at the University of Evansville. I'm also alumni. I graduated with my bachelor's degree from UE in 1974 and my master's of science degree in nursing in 1990. How long have you worked at the university? I joined as adjunct faculty originally in 2008 and then I transitioned into a permanent position of being the simulation coordinator and assistant professor of nursing. How long has the Dunnigan Family Department of Nursing and Health Science has been around for? Well, I'll give a little bit of background. The actual nursing program began back in 1953 in Evansville College. Through those years, we have evolved. We were the School of Nursing, and then we became the Dunnigan Family Department of Nursing and Health Sciences in approximately 2008. On an ongoing basis, we enroll approximately 150 students total for all four years. How many nursing teachers does the university employ? Currently, that would be 11, including our Chair of Nursing, Amy Hall. What group is the university accredited through? We are accredited through ACEN, which is uh, the Accreditation Commission for Education and Nursing, and we have a survey coming up in the spring of 2015. I'm proud to say that the University of Evansville uh, Department of Nursing was the first nursing baccalaureate program accredited in the state of Indiana back in 1960. What is the university's take on nursing? The University of Evansville views nursing as both an art and a science, so we have a balanced program that includes the sciences such as microbiology, such as anatomy and physiology, as well as psychology, as well as the arts of language, so that our students are balanced and prepared to go forward and take care of patients. What is the normal coursework for a student to have to go through to get a nursing degree? Our students enter in the program as freshmen, and we have an integrated approach so that our students begin with nursing classes in the freshman year, as well as those fundamental courses such as anatomy and physiology and chemistry. And each year they continue with their education and add more courses. So at the end of the period of four years, if they graduate on time, they have the total number of courses that they need to graduate. We use a wide variety of tools. We utilize lecture, so in the theory courses our, our faculty will provide lecture, and then there is also a component of clinical courses that also go along with our nursing theory courses. So during those types of clinicals, we have skills labs so that they have hands-on, practicing on mannequins, on models. We have an electronic medical health record so our students develop proficiency in entering patient care information into the computer. We also do simulations which would include uh, Sim Man and Sim Junior. So we replicate real life patient events so that our students develop their confidence and their skills and then also they develop critical thinking. The University of Evansville has a mission and their focus is on leadership and service. Our students are very, very committed in terms of their patient care, so we are affiliated with both Deaconess Hospital and St. Mary's Medical Health Center, and then we also partner with all the community health agencies, such as Southwestern Mental Health, so our students have a wide variety of arenas that they practice in. In addition, our students are very active in our Student Nurse Association, and through that we do health fairs 
at HOLA, which is Hispanic Outreach for Latin Americans. We also provide meals and provide services for the Ronald McDonald House here for those people who have children that are hospitalized. So we have a major focus on giving back to the community. What other activities can the students get involved in? There are so many activities here that our students have the opportunity to participate in. Sports, sororities, fraternities, the radio station, they can do, there are religious uh, activities here that students can choose to participate in. It is really wide open. Theater, you know, they always have some activity that if you want to learn to do something different, you have that opportunity. So you get to test yourself to see what you like, you'd like to learn or what you'd like to explore and support. The University of Evansville contains many study abroad opportunities, including their own campus in Harleston, England, or a manor owned by the universities located. The University of Evansville's study abroad program has been consistently rated as one of the top study abroad programs in the nation. Are the students in the nursing school able to travel abroad, and if they do, are they still able to graduate in the same number of years? Yes, our students have a multitude of opportunities to travel abroad. And yes, they can graduate in the regular four-year period of time. The most common opportunity that our seniors participate in, in the fall semester of the senior year, our students have the option of taking community health and leadership here in Evansville or across the pond at our Harlexton campus in, in England. And those students are there. They leave here about the end of August and they return about the middle of December. Other opportunities that they have, we have, we alternate years of two, of a 10 day course in the spring going to Harlexton and a five week course that we rotate with. Students also have the opportunity to uh, participate on interprofessional type of, of trips. So last year, uh, they went to the, the Dominican Republic. We took a combination of nursing students of communication students and engineering students and for two weeks they were present and immersed in that culture and they helped plan and set up and route the patient flow of the health community clinic. How has the nursing program changed since you've been here? Well I will tell you nursing and health care are change is constant and so we have since I have been here in terms of technology we I helped bring about and develop the simulation program. We purchased additional mannequins. We had Sim Man when I first came, and he is a high fidelity computer that our students practice and deliver care on. We also, and that is an adult type of mannequin, we also uh, purchased through the Dunnigan family funds, the Sim Junior, who is a seven year old. We also uh, purchased and transitioned to electronic books. So our students that are in our nursing four-year program no longer use the hard copy books for the nursing classes. We also have purchased an electronic medical health record called SimChart. So our students learn to chart on an electronic medical health record to prepare them to go into the hospital. We are constantly updating the curriculum because, as you know, the evidence base practice changes and we always update so that we are teaching the current method and skills. The Dunnigan Family Department of Nursing and Health Sciences is one of the colleges at the University of Evansville in Evansville, Indiana. The university is known for its strong liberal arts program and study abroad opportunities. I would like to thank Mrs. Fedora Bashmeyer for allowing me to interview her and get more information on the University of Evansville and its nursing program.